Today's passage follows on from the birth of Jesus, which Gabriel had announced to the shepherds later on that night. And so the story continues. But as I share, notice how careful Luke is in describing and explaining the details of the law to his non-Jewish audience. Luke writes, on the day of the baby's circumcision ceremony, eight days after his birth, his parents gave him the name Jesus, the name prophesied by the angel before he was born. And after Mary's days of purification had ended, it was time for her to come to the temple with a sacrifice, according to the law of Moses, after the birth of a son. So Mary and Joseph took the baby Jesus to Jerusalem to be dedicated before the Lord. For it is required in the law of the Lord that every firstborn male shall be a set-apart one for God and to offer a prescribed sacrifice, either a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Do you see how detailed Luke is about the law? You know, in fact, when I was learning it, I found this passage really hard to get into my head because I couldn't see why Luke was going on about the law so much. I mean, he essentially tells us twice that after the birth of a son, the law required that you go to the temple and offer a sacrifice. He even details what the sacrifice should be. Why? I mean, I'm grateful for the history lesson, but I'm tempted to think that's just too much detail for me. And of course, I don't really know the answer to the why. I just learn scripture and it throws up questions that make me think. And this question, makes me think about the word law. What was the purpose of the law? Now, I know there are some very long answers to that, but to me, in its simplest sense, the law brings clarity to what is right and wrong. And of course, the law of God recognizes that when we live in what is right, we live in the abundance of God's blessing, protection, provision. And when we do what is wrong, we step outside of that blessing and protection and provision. And, and of course, in the law of Moses, there was a provision that enabled people to come back to God when they'd fallen short of the law. And that was the sacrificial system. Remember the Passover lamb? And that leads me on to thinking about the fact that Jesus in Matthew 5 said that he had come to fulfill the law. In fact, Jesus was the final and full perfect sacrifice to satisfy the requirements of the law forever. And then I begin to catch a glimpse of the enormity of what God did. And perhaps just a little of why Luke went into so much detail describing the law. I mean, not only by going into the detail does Luke underline the fact that Jesus' parents played their part in making sure that he was perfect, according to adhering to the law. But through his narrative, Luke also illustrates the detail and complexity of keeping the law. And those are hoops we don't have to jump through because the sacrifice of Jesus was enough. So while I may not fully understand all the implications of why Luke is so detailed about the law in this passage, a theologian would have to do that for you. I'm really glad he was detailed because it makes me think. And I wonder what you think. May the Holy Spirit lead us all to think deeply on his word as he unfolds his marvelous plan into our hearts. Amen.